Welcome everyone, I would like to show you some tips and tricks for your iPad Pro. So if you ever wanted to take a screenshot, you can see here the power button on the left hand side and then the volume down button. You just want to click and release at the same time, both buttons. So let's do that together. Click release and you can see a screenshot will be taken. Did you also know you can take a screenshot using your keyboard? So if you have any keyboard attached to your iPad Pro, do command shift three in order to take a screenshot. And if you do command shift and four, you're going to see it will take a screenshot and bring you straight to this editor view where you can edit the screenshot you have just taken. Did you know if you slide down from the top right, you get access to the control center. And if you long press on this toggle right here and then long press on either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can change the Wi-Fi network or connect the Bluetooth devices directly from the control center without going into settings. Did you also know you can customize the control center by going into settings, control center, you can see these triple uh, lines here. You can drag and drop where you would like the icons to show up. And you can also add custom controls where the more control section is. So let's say you want to add low power mode into the control center. You tap on the plus, slide down, and you'll see the toggle show up right here. You can also add screen recording from the control center. And then you just long press on the screen recording icon. Select if you want the microphone on or not. And then you can start a recording just like that. If you want to do multitasking, you can see right here, one app left, one app on the right. All you need to do is just slide up to activate the dock and then drag and drop the application of your choice to either the left or right hand side of the screen. But did you also know that you can do split screen multitasking without the app actually being in the dock? You do this, you see where the triple dots are, you slide to either the left or the right, and you can see the app is in this view. Then you select any app, which can be on the home screen as well, and then you can do a split screen multitask. Did you know you can split screen with up to three applications by activating the dock, drag drop in the middle, and then you have app one, app two, and app three, just like that. Did you know that in order to reduce clutter on your home screen, you can chop apps in the app library? So if you want to remove an app from the home screen but not outright delete it, long press on the app, tap on remove app, and you see here, remove from home screen, tap on this one, it will be removed from the home screen, but if you swipe to the very furthest page on the right, then slide one more time, You'll be brought to the app library and then you can search up for Minecraft, whatever app you hit right there. Did you know if you go to settings and then you go to home screen and dock, you can change newly downloaded apps so that it will show up in the app library only or just to the home screen. And so what that means is if you want your home screen to have this certain view, regardless of what apps you download, you can set app library only and then just like that, uh, all new applications will be in the app library. Those are some uh, tips and tricks for the iPad Pro. Of course, there is a ton of stuff uh, that you may want to know. So I have a 40 minute video on how to use the iPad Pro. Uh, you should see it on the end screen right here. The tutorial will also be in the description. If you want to know literally everything about the iPad Pro, how to use it in every single way, that video is right there. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.